Hello, I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports news. We've already had so many controversies around organizations in the past week or two. We have the Optic story, of course, the Tifu and Faze story, and now, thirdly, this video entirely about Nade Shot and apparently some dealings he made with, of course, Nick Merckx, who has now officially left the organization. And as of this morning, just a couple of hours ago, we actually have a brand new content creator for that same organization that will be Courage JD now officially joining Nade Shot and his team. Apparently, it was going to be announced upwards of three months ago. He has now officially moved into their house and joined the organization. And at this time, it does seem to be a very peculiar time to be joining because Nick Merckx also posted just last night. His announcement video is exactly why he did leave, and he brought about some um, some pretty crazy points. The first of which, the relationship with Nade Shot seems to be well shot, and Alpha is obviously pretty pretty much done with uh, the way that Nick Merckx put it into words. To 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 wrap it up, I mean, we we went out there. The plan was for me to grow, and in turn, that would grow 100 thieves, right? That was my role. You know, and, and, and he, he made some promises to me as a friend, and how, how we were going to do it, how he was going to take care of me. It just didn't end up happening, man. I don't hate the guy, you know. I definitely don't hate him, but I don't like him. You know, he, him and I are not cool. We're never going to be cool. I don't want nothing to do with him. I never do business with, with him. I'll never sit down at a table with him ever again. And it makes you so curious though, because Nick Merckx also confirms in those clips as well that he was not paid a single dime for his time before departing 100 Thieves. So it makes you very curious, and I'm always curious what you guys think in the comment section down below. What exactly was Nick Merckx offered and what exactly did Nick Merckx want from the organization? Because you certainly have to think they would have offered him some sort of salary or some sort of pay if he wanted to stay. But what exactly was offered, we might not exactly ever know. We actually have confirmation right now now from, well, I guess not really confirmation, but we do know Hector and Hitch as well on their eavesdrop podcast. I will link down below for all of you. I've pretty much talked about this and stated Nade Shot's not very likely to respond about this drama or actually confirm what exactly he did offer, what exactly was said between him and Nick Merckx very early on. And that's probably the best call when it comes time for this. Um, as you guys did see the clip, and I'll link Nick Merckx's full video down below as well. He does say he was never paid, but he doesn't ever, ever really clarify what exactly he was offered by Nade Shot himself, besides by dismissing the friendship altogether and the future of their business will obviously be off the table altogether because of what was not done on Nade Shot's part. We talked for a long time about 100 Thieves. And we, I mean, but I put years of that shit. I put years of work in under the 100 Thieves umbrella when I could have been playing for somebody else. And I didn't make a dime for years. You know, but I could have been playing for somebody else, but I didn't. But it is so interesting because not only can we speculate what he was offered, rumors of course talking about probably equity in the 100 Thieves organization, and then you try and think about from Nade Shot's perspective, which I try and tend to agree with in this case, if not, we're not going to know any details or response from Nade Shot himself or any details from even Nick Merckx on exactly what was exchanged between the two of these guys, it is hard to take sides. You know that Nade Shot fanboys will take his side, the Nick Merckx fans, you know, a very hard and core and very strong family they've made over on his platforms as well they'll back him but I'm very curious if we'll ever know the two sides of this story and exact details of what was actually exchanged between these two people now on top of that though with courage joining it's very peculiar timing because of course the announcement comes a day after Nick Merckx posted his video and with that being said Ninja when he even leaked the move altogether he did say and make very clearly states these two are a very even I guess you could say followings right I think uh, courage has a bit more I don't know well-roundedness I would say but either way both these guys are very large on all of their surrounding platforms Platforms, and uh, that was, of course, leaked a while ago when uh, when Ninja leaked that. Oh man, that's so weird, right? Because I because like Nick Merckx is just as big, I would say, is probably a little bit bigger than Courage. But Courage recently signed with 100 Thieves. Clearly, I don't think Jack would do that if it wasn't a great org with great, you know, with a great contract. So I mean, maybe he just wanted to leave. Uh, wait. Uh. Uh. uh what? Why do you guys keep saying that? I'm gonna DM you on Twitter real quick. Yeah. DMing you. And with this being done, it does make you just all the more curious what was offered to Courage. Of course, formerly he'd been on his own for several months now, ever since leaving Optic Gaming, who was the one and only option I think he ever wanted in his lifetime before 100 Thieves came around. You know, he kind of grew up in Optic. He came from the Call of Duty scene originally as well. He joined them for a very short amount of time, and until uh, he actually blew up inside of Optic, that was the time of his overall huge, huge blow up. It's very, very interesting to see him go to 100 Thieves, another organization, when he seemed to be set on not joining a team 
team out there are not joining an organizational umbrella. So I was very surprised, although there's been many hints about this coming sometime soon, I was still very surprised that Courage, at a point where he is currently, feels the need to join another organization out there that is not Optic Gaming. And what they offered him, I am seriously curious about because, you know, according to Nick Merckx, it probably would not have been equity. So did he take a, a lump sum? Did he take a very large salary? Those are the details we will obviously never know about, but it is a very interesting story. Now, very lastly, with all of that being said, this is not the first time that Nick Merckx and Nate Shot have butted heads. I was always wondering when this clip would come back up. I'm going to play you guys a pretty lengthy clip here where I never thought, you know, of course it's lighthearted, it's joking some of the time, but I always thought there was some sort of actual edge to the clip I'm about to play you guys and kind of a, an actual butting of heads between the two characters, that being Nick Merckx and Nate Shot. Them, and I saved your life, and you're still bitching. I'm right next to you. Bro, you're probably still looting in America. I already killed an entire team. You, I, don't don't steer away from the point. Yo, you literally point, left me. No, can someone send him a clip? Can someone send him a clip? I don't even I want to see your booty no, ass no, stream be, clip. Yo, Listen, you got to look at your teammate happening. that's right next to you getting bro, shot. What do you, what I you can't play with this guy, bro. You literally you, a bonehead, homie. bro. You're a bonehead. You, I'm <laughs> right next to you screaming. The guy's got a gun and you run Are out the door. Are you on right now? Like, Can you not around for yourself do i gotta turn of around course, and you, to make sure you're okay you got the landings on deck good for you you got the landings congratulations you got the landings so help me out help your teammate bro what's up hold on to my pocket oh man you a toxic ass teammate bro you just baited me and then blame me and then said i'm slow because you got the gun when we hit the double door i've never Stay seen anything on like my this six, bro just yo just follow me man because you can't i'm move screaming by it's just a, still oh, bro, are we still like don't you're still Alive. I'll never get I've over it. I'll never people. get over it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here in disbelief that you think that that was the play. You, yo, if you ever leave me like that again, I can't play. I can't play. He didn't even kill you. Open your heart to the possibility oh, that you're so wrong. Late. You're not playing so right. This ain't Fortnite, bro. You, what do you? I, I th thank you for the wake up call, Nate Shot. That's not well, Fortnite. I, we all appreciate it. Well, I, I, I think need you your help because listen. I need you your help. He ran out the door. Mother, I got thirty thousand viewers. You got three. Don't talk to me about Hancho, oh, homie. Wait, hold, hold up, we're talking. What's up, bro? Chill what? with the Hancho, CEO. Wait, wait, wait. What's why up, you, bro? Is this some CEO it? shit? You watch your watch your hand. Watch your hand, cause well, cause, cause, cause the dog bites back, homie. What's up? We were, talk, we were talking What's about up? gameplay. Wow. Okay. What's up, bro? Right. I hit Hancho who? Don't, 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 hey, hey. But either way, I want to bring these kind of videos onto the channel because I love debating these kind of topics. There are so many off roots and so many points about this. You know, Courage, of course, leaving Optic during that blow up period of his. He's been on his own for quite some time. Now decides for some reason to join another organization. So I'm very curious what they offered him. Of course, Nick Merckx departing the organization as well with his move back to Michigan and now coming forward and saying that apparently Nade Shot had revealed some plans for him in person or, you know, via exchange of just um, the voice of face to face interactions. Never had anything written down but apparently it offered him some pretty extreme things he did not follow through by and then you have Nade Shot's perspective right you know what exactly did he offer Nick Merckx um, of course was it equity and of course why could he not follow up with his own word on um, the argument out there that they've acquired so many investors so many partial owners he probably could not live up to what he actually offered Nick Merckx whether it be a year or two years or several years ago and then what does Nick Merckx have in store because obviously they probably would have offered him a salary which they likely offered to Courage and it had to be a pretty um, you know lumptuous sum of salary to actually get Courage to join the team in itself but again Again, those background details, those ties, friendships, we'll never really know the full details on. Will we get a Nade Shot response? I really am curious about that. But again, so many off routes. I'm really ser seriously curious about what you guys think about all of this. Whose side are you on? Can you really take a side when we don't have a response from Nade Shot? We have a very, very broad response from Nick Merckx. I think either way, it's probably best that both these guys actually part ways. Hunter Thieves will certainly still be successful. They picked up another great content creator in Courage, and I'm sure Nick Merckx has something in the works, which I am also super curious about. As always, my name is Jake. I hope you guys all enjoy this episode episode of esports news make sure to leave a comment down below what do you guys think about the story and until next time take care and i'll see you soon